Hi everybody, lunchtime review time. Yesterday, I did a Boston Market meal, the chicken parm, and it wasn't good. But, of course, by chance, because Boston Market meals were on sale, sale shop and shop this week, I bought two. So now, I'm going to do this Salisbury Steak Boston Market meal. It was at Stop and Shop on sale this week, $4.49 regular price, $0.99 cents off, so $3.50. For 14.5 um, ounces. So it seems like a reasonable price. Especially with the sales price. It's very reasonable. Alright let's see. Oh it took. Um, it took like eight eight and a half minutes. In my 1000 watt microwave. Where's the ingredients. Where's the. Oh nutritional value. That's what I want. And ingredients. Okay. We've got. 530 calories for the whole box. Ooh, 1,450 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. A little bit of sugar. Not too much. Four grams. A lot of sodium, though. All right, let's go to the ingredients. Wow. Ingredients again. It's like the chicken parm. It's like a friggin' um, pharmaceutical encyclopedia. Look at this. Look how much stuff is in this. That's not a good sign, boys, to market. You're behind the eight ball already. All right. Here is the box. Here is what we got. Box. Box looks really good. Look at that. It's got grill marks. Looks really good. What we got? Kind of a sloppy mess. Yeah, it's a sloppy mess. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, I'll be wrong and this will be good and not like the chicken parm yesterday. All right. First things first. Let's get some mac and cheese. I like the fact it's it's big rotel. You know, the, I don't know what you call them, Rotelli noodles. I don't know. I like that, though, because usually that absorbs the cheese well. Not too bad. The, the pasta is the right consistency. Not too mushy. The cheese appears to it well. It's not an overly cheesy flavor, though. It's kind of, hold on, I'll try again. It's not super mac and cheesy. I mean, it's okay. I think you need, like, more cheese sauce on there. Because, like, the cheese sauce is just not adhering to the um, the pasta. One more bite. Let me try to get some cheese sauce. Because the cheese sauce looks good. But I'm not getting... I'm not picking up much, much cheddar flavor. All right. It's okay. Uh, here's the brown gravy. The brown gravy looked kind of good. Let me get a little, get a little taste of the brown gravy. Mmm. Ooh. Oniony. Mushroomy. Very tasty. That's some good gravy. You know what? I had a great idea. I'm gonna take some, some mac and cheese, smother it in the gravy. See what we got going on. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. You combine the mac and cheese with the gravy. It's good. All right. Let's see about the Salisbury steak. I'll tell you already, this is way better than chicken parm. I'll tell you right now. Because when, when I like the gravy a lot, it, the whole meal gets elevated. All right. Got some Salisbury steak. Looks decent. Doesn't look like grizzly or anything. Try it out. Mm. Pretty damn good. All right. I like this way more than the chicken parm, guys. Way more. I mean, it's not even close. Okay, one more bite of Salisbury State to give you guys an accurate reading. I have a feeling that I'm going to get this again and that I'm recommending it. I'll tell you right now. I'm going to just get accurate reading. One more bite. Yeah. I love the gravy. The Salisbury steak is decent quality. Not full of grizzle. Not like anything crunchy in it. it it's well cooked. Well seasoned. With all that sodium in here, it's not overly salty. I like this, guys. This guy, I'll get again. This guy, I recommend. This guy is decent. It's not 
unbelievably great, but it's decent. At 350 bargain price, this guy gets uh 7.9. I wanted to go over 8, but I think 7.9. It's not a great meal, <coughs> but it's a decent meal. Choking on a piece of um, Salisbury steak over here. 7.9 is the review for this. You all should try it. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Everybody have a great day and a great weekend.